Hello, beautiful beings of light. <laughs> Welcome. Happy Sunday. At least I think it's Sunday for just about everybody. So welcome. Thank you for choosing to spend a little bit of your day or night with me. Mm. I'm deeply, deeply appreciative to not only be sharing this with you, but to just be in this collective space together. So thank you for joining. Ah. So um, I think a lot of you, most of you anyway, have done this transmission with me before. Um, some of you have not, and so I will explain just a little bit about um, how I work this transmission. And by work this, I don't mean <laughs> what's coming through. That That's uh, a, a mystical thing that we all have access to that um, is beyond explanation. But from a logistical point of view, um, this transmission is sourced from the angelic realm, the archangelic realm, the Elohim, the creator consciousness realm. And the connection that I have with that realm flows through me and into you. And so I um, also speak light language when I do this transmission. That is not planned. That's a very organic thing that just comes through. So you will be hearing me speak light language during the transmission. Now, uh, during this transmission, you do not need to have your cameras on. I, as you can see, have myself spotlighted. So it's basically, I'm just streaming this so you can have your cameras on or off. You can also either lay down or be seated. Um, Feel free to change your position somewhere in between, whatever works for you. I will ask you to keep your eyes closed and just stay in that internal state of receptivity as you are um, receiving the energy and the light language and just allow yourself to really come into that space of experiencing whatever's arising for you. I generally lead into this with a guided meditation, not a long one, probably about five or six minutes, just to help get us present and centered and grounded uh, and get us in that state of receptivity. And then the transmission itself, I will be playing music. The transmission will be about 35, I think this track is about 37 minutes. So in total, with the guided meditation and the transmission, about 45 minutes, more or less. Afterwards, we will just spend a few moments in silence, um, simmering in the energies. And then for this particular transmission, we don't do any sharing or anything like that. Um, so we'll just bring the container to a close once we're done. I would like to, uh, only because this, this came across um, randomly, haha, <laughs> I love that word randomly because we know nothing's random, right? Um, for those of you who join my light body activations, uh, you know I, I tend to read something at the beginning of class, sort of planting the seed as I call it. I don't normally do that for this transmission. But I randomly came across something this morning and it felt really, really relevant um, because of, well, really the state of the world as we are in it right now, the state of awakening that many of us are, are moving through, uh, it just felt really relevant. And I wanted to, to read it and um, just talk about it very briefly. So Carl Jung is, is just such a fundamental, I've, I've studied a lot of his work, and I'll always bring him up because he's such a fundamental, um, what I call bridge. He really understood um, f uh, psychology in, in a way that was really sort of groundbreaking, but he's a bridge to the mystical aspect of what this mind, body, spirit mechanism is. And really, I think, um, very ahead of his time and so this quote came 
across um, in some of, of my stuff I was going through. And um, like I said, it felt very relevant, so I wanted to read it to you. He says this, Open the gates of the soul and let the dark flood of chaos flow into your order and meaning. If you marry the ordered to the chaos, you produce the divine child. The supreme meaning beyond meaning and meaninglessness. I love this so much because I think it's pretty safe to say that we can all see the chaos, both externally in the world around us, but for a lot of us internally as well. Awakening feels a lot of the time very chaotic. And of course, we understand that what's happening internally is always going to be reflected externally. And as someone who loves uh, order and meaning, maybe some of you can relate, embracing chaos can feel like a really big task. In the scientific world, they have a term called entropy, which is basically anything that just feels, seems, or scientifically based is just random, chaotic. And, and we see that in the natural world, this seeming chaos. And so science has, you know, through their uh, deep uncovering and, and watching and looking and searching, they've named this state of chaos that they can't find any perceivable rhyme or reason to. They've, they've created a, a state and name for that called entropy. And they just call it chaos and they set it aside. We don't know what it means. We don't know why. There's no, there's no order to it. It's just chaos. Now, I think what the mystics have always known is that the chaos actually has meaning, which feels very paradoxical. Because chaos, by its very nature, feels like we, we can't subscribe any meaning to it. We can't figure out why. We can't figure out what. What is the purpose? It's just chaos. But I think what the mystics have understood and what we as humans in our awakening process are beginning to understand is that the chaos is simply another manifestation of the divine. And that in this ideology that we come from nothing, nothingness, pure consciousness into manifestation, and manifestation is endless, it's boundless, it's limitless. There's, there's no end to the way the divine can manifest. And some of that is going to be, or look, or seem chaotic. But that the chaos itself is an integral, maybe, organizing piece of this process that things have to move through chaos in order for them to find their place in meaning. And so I think this is very relevant to what we see in the world outside of us. There's a lot of things happening that are very chaotic that we just, the human mind can make no sense of. And yet we understand that there is a process that has to be gone through, even if we don't understand it. Maybe even especially if we don't understand that process. And that the chaos, whether it's external or internal, has to be embraced. It has to be accepted as part of this bigger process. And that's a tough pill to swallow sometimes. I don't know about you guys, but there are definitely moments 
in this awakening process where no sense can be had from it. And that's always a clear sign when the mind can't make any sense of it that we have to move into a state of letting go, a state of surrender, a state of deep acceptance that there's something in this, some organizing principle. You could call it God, source, the universe, nature, some organizing principle that knows exactly what it's doing and that needs to be embraced for us to really get the full spectrum of what we're moving through because it's not an intellectual process. So that's the seed that I want to plant for you here. Um, and I think on that note, we'll just step into the unknown, right? Because every time we do something like this, when we receive energy, when we receive teachings, uh, we really are stepping into a space of letting go, a space of not knowing what's going to unfold. And we could say that about life. We don't know what's going to happen from one minute to the next, as much as we can try to plan it out. But particularly when we come into these mystical spaces, and so whatever unfolds for you in this next 45 minutes to an hour, whether it feels chaotic, whether it makes sense, whether it has meaning, whether it feels random, stepping into that space of knowing that there is a guiding process and it really has our best interest, our highest interest, our growth, our evolution, our fullest potential, it has that as its, um, as the space that it's holding. That's what it's holding for us to move into our highest potential. So with that, I invite you to go ahead and find a position, uh, anything that works for you, seated, laying down. I'm just taking a moment to uh, close the eyes and begin to move away from any of the thoughts and ideas. So part of the reason I call these things I talk about seeds is because I want you to let those words resonate or not. Maybe they don't resonate for you and that's okay. Let them plant, let them land, and then let them go. Let all of it go. Let your expectations go. Let your experiences, any previous experiences go. And allow yourself to just get really present in this moment right here, right now. And the best way for us to get present is to simply begin to tune into the body. Your physical body is always operating in the present moment. It literally can't be any other way. It's only the mind that is perpetually pulling back, pushing forward, creating a little bit of that, quote, chaos. But the body is here and now. So feel your presence on the ground, on the floor, on the bed, the couch, wherever you happen to be. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, allow yourself to just get heavy. Release the tension that keeps you upright and alert. And allow yourself to connect not just to the floor below you, but to the physical earth itself, this great mother, Gaia. Allow yourself to feel her presence. And as you soften your physical body into her embrace, Open yourself to also receiving the energy that is she is unconditionally giving to you at every moment. 
So taking a moment here to feel your breath, just noticing. The breath is your divine life force, readily available, tangible, seeable, feelable. So without doing anything particular to your breath, just noticing it as part of this physical mechanism, this divine vessel that you live in. Observe the way in which this beautiful life force softly moves through you. Every inhale is a nourishment a receiving and every exhale is a release a purification and this is happening all of its own accord there are many breath practices that we can do but in this moment just let the natural breath this natural manifestation of source move through you however it wishes to in this moment And then softly bring your attention up to your heart space, your physical heart, your emotional heart, and your spiritual heart, all together in this same space of the body. And as you breathe, this, as this life force moves through you, breathe into the heart. The space through which we connect deeply and meaningfully. Every inhale feeling just that little bit of an expansion. And on every exhale, just allowing yourself to settle into that slightly expanded state so that on the next inhale you can expand just a little bit more. Let the heart space open. And then gently bring your attention upward still to the third eye and the crown area. We don't need to have a specific focal point, although if you would like to, that's also okay. But just moving up into these higher realms of consciousness that already exist within the human construct this human mechanism, these energetic states and templates and levels of consciousness that are already within us. And again, using the soft breath as a means to feel these spaces softly opening. That doesn't need to look or feel any particular way. Because however that opening is occurring for you, it is appropriate for you. But remembering that you are not bound, your consciousness, the essence of you is not and never will be bound to this physical vessel. The vessel is simply the home and the means through which we experience life. We've been given these senses in order to experience and thus learn. 
but your beingness, your consciousness is in no way bound. So find that essence Even if it's just an idea of expansion, allow that idea to come in. Allow yourself to move into the space of boundlessness. And in that space, we are our most receptive. So here, with no boundaries and no limitations. Simply allow yourself to move into a state of receptivity, knowing that you are in fact being guided and held in the way that is most appropriate for you in this moment in time.
Nu e njëm në e këtu ëmë në në e se te te se te shi ti o alë punë një në më në e se te e ka të re i. Në më në e ta e o të punë një në më e shi ti e të punë më në më se te e shi ti ta e. Nëse të jetë jam një në e se të jetë këtu në 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 është të e shë të jetë një në në e se të jetë të 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 të
te i hirnya nai seti shitu e hai nai am nai i tawa hu sun Kenyan, 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 
You're in a divine process right now. You, 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 specifically you, are deep in a divine process right now. There is a deep unfolding, a deep inner rising of the fundamental essence of who you are. Find yourself in a state of grace as often as possible. state of knowing, a state of non-questioning what, how, when, why. Move yourself consciously into these states of grace where there are no questions, there are no answers, only the beingness and the connectedness to all there is of which you are an integral part. You are loved. You are love.
That is what we're all seeking to understand. This is a journey of uncovering our inherent perfection. And it is a journey. We are the divine child that is the marriage between chaos and meaning. We are all that we seek. Our only job is remembering that. The wise words that many masters have spoken. But words for each of us to embody in our own way, in our own time. until we understand our own mastery. So I invite you to stay in this expanded state as long as it feels good and right for you. Transmission is closed, but the energy field is wide open. Allow yourself to just revel in it. This is you. Next week, on Sunday, I'll be doing an intensive, which is a long extended light body activation followed by another of these transmissions, pairing the two back to back in order to open our energetic system so that we can receive these high frequency angelic energies with more ease and grace. So maybe I'll see some of you then. If you feel called, after you've landed, feel free to reach out to me and let me know how you received this. I'm always very interested to know, to hear the beauty of how everyone's individual process is happening. Because that knowledge, that information, that sharing feeds directly back into this collective process that we're going through. So wherever you are, however you are, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or your night. I hope this serves you to the highest benefit. I love you and I appreciate you and thank you for joining. I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Mm.